Hey everybody, Dave here with Funky Food with Dave, 802 Heat. And I'm outdoors, so that means pepper grow video. And guess what? Three weeks in a row and it's starting to rain. So let's get right into these peppers, all right? Hold on a second. Here's the one bell pepper. It's in its last few. I don't think it's going to be around much longer. Here is... Uh, the dragon roll i picked a lot of these off the other day if you guys haven't tried one of these things they're actually really really good pepper um tomato which got really hurt by the wind and rain the other day but they're on their last legs as well so i'll be picking those um what do we got here this is a scotch brain xcp yellow there was a pepper on this the other day where is it right in there Right there. And then uh, there was another one, but I think something got it. This one, though, has got some nice beauties on it. If you can see that pepper right there. A couple right there. Growing. Looking forward to seeing what these are. Um, here's a paper lantern that got hurt the other day by the rainstorm. I do have one that's still hanging in there. It is turning orange. A lot of peppers on it. Um, this paper lantern, a lot of peppers, but nothing ripening yet. Another paper lantern right here, lots of peppers, nothing ripening. All right, hold on a second here, I gotta get off to the side of this one. And here's a T Rex chocolate right here. And there's a gnarly looking pod right there and over there. Sorry about the sun, guys. Uh, let's see the reaper and this plant has no peppers on it blossoms but no peppers this reaper is loaded in here it's hard to see the pods in there but they're in there really tightly put in there here's one here another nice one here another nice one there so that one's got a lot of reaper on it. This one that ended up growing like a vine has got some really nice reaper pods in there. So I just hope everything starts to ripen. It's starting to cool down here at night. So, and here's our chocolate bootla, which does have pods here somewhere. Where were they? There's a couple right in there. I don't think you guys can see these. There's some pods in there as well. Another chocolate bootlet right here. There's a pod right there. So, then we got a Prima Tali. Got some small pods going in there. Let's see if I can even see it. Let me show you guys can see it right there. On that one. This one doesn't have any pods. This is a Prima Tali as well. Another Prima Tali with one little pod right there. And that's about it. And then I got my Kangstar Lemon. I do have a pod. There's a pod right here. Starting to pop out a little. Um, it was two, but something got one of them i don't know what it was that ate that and i hope whatever ate it suffered de dearly for it uh, this is the thai red look at this plant this thing is absolutely loaded i just picked the other day before the uh best of vermont festival that we did use them for taste test I mean, and that was just on Friday when I picked it. There was no more red ones left, and it's loaded again today. So, it's, that thing is a massive producer right there. I got a ghost, the ghost pepper right here. And I don't think I have any pods on the ghost, which is kind of weird. But whatever. Uh, Trinidad scorpion right here with no pods. Do you have a ladybug? is good to see another trinidad no pods little baby trinidad 
didn't expect pods on that because I think we've been suffering all year. And look at this white knight. I'm coming out here after this video to pick. Look at these things. Things loaded. And these were from uh, Andy at Goot Juice. Look at them. This one is an odd looking one compared to those. <laughs> so, who knows? Another white knight which doesn't have anything on it either. I oh, know, it's got a little baby one right there. And then uh, a T Rex chocolate. There's a pod right in there. One was starting up there. So, yeah, not a bad. Let me just show you the video. Here's the plants here. Um, yeah so they're starting to pop now i just hope they start to ripen better um, the white knights are the only thing out here that are ripening along with some of the paper lanterns but that's it uh yeah hope you guys enjoy this video not sure how much longer these will be going um starting to cool down here at night so that's why i'm hoping we get our uh, the, uh ripening moving here because uh coming in the first of september and usually here in Vermont, where I'm at, our first frost is anywhere between the yeah, second week of September, usually. So that's usually when it's done. So hoping all these things decide to pop, ripen. Uh, there's not much I can do about it. They don't. Um, I don't know what else to say. Um, I had a good event this past weekend. It was absolutely mobbed. Met some great other vendors. Um, get the chat with the Angry Goat um, Pepper Company people that were there. They tasted my sauces and they liked them all. Um, one of the guys really liked my uh, Emma's Choco Cherry Crush, which used to be named Java Cherry Crush, we, we, we named it. Guy absolutely loved it. Um, so yeah. Um, I think that'll be it for today. Uh, I'll be doing a taste test video later today. So we will talk to you guys later. Have a great night, guys. Bye.